Welcome to your Japanese kitchen. We're here at the Kurihara residence in Tokyo. It's a rather fine day, but it's still a little bit warm for my taste, don't you think? Yeah. Oh, but Harumi, I have to tell you right from the start here, thank you. Yes. I just love this program because I always get to eat wonderful home-cooked or home-style Japanese food. So I'm so happy to hear that. Oh, man, I, I, know, I just really enjoy this program. And so tell me, what will I be able to eat today? I mean, what will we be making on the program today? So we will be making a Japanese style, curry and rice. Ooh, really? Mm. Curry and rice? You know, they recently did a poll on that, and they do many polls on the favorite foods in Japan. Mm, yes. And curry and rice is almost always in the top five. Yes. It is a very, very popular dish here yes. in Japan, isn't it? Especially to the love it. That's true. Kids love it, but I love it too. You know, it's, you know, in Japan, everybody likes curry and rice, but probably it's not well known around the world that mm. curry and rice is so popular here in Japan. So we're going to show you how it's made at home and why it's so popular all around the country, okay? Yeah, so, let's yeah. begin. Today's recipe is a family favorite, Japanese-style curry and rice. It can be made with a variety of ingredients. Today, our guest is Vaclav Vadimira from the Czech Republic. Vaclav's wife is Japanese, and he loves her cooking. Today, he'll be learning a fun recipe to take back home with him. Nice to oh, meet me you. Too. Very glad to yes. see you and meet you. It's very great pleasure, pleasure for me yes. to me be too. here now. Hi. Great, great pleasure. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Should we call you Vaclav? Oh, yes, please. Vaclav. How long have you been here in Japan? Well, uh, maybe everybody will be surprised. I am very long here, already 40 years. 40? Yes. 40 years? 40 years. 40? 40. 40. Not, not 14? Not 14, yes. So you've been here longer than I have. Oh, really? I've been here about 30 years myself. Oh, yes. And everybody yes. just gets blown away by that. 40 years? 40 years. Yes. What, what yes. do you do here in Japan? I am a, I am musician. Mm. I'm a cello, professional yeah. cello player. Oh. Yes. So I used to play in uh, orchestra. Wow. So you've been here for 40 years. I'm yes. sure then you must like Japanese food. Oh, yes. Very much. To say the truth, I, I eat only Japanese mm -hmm. now. Really? Yes. Oh. Yeah. Of course, then I go to my country mm -hmm. if I go home. So I eat Czech, but uh, in, Japan, in Japan now, mostly Japanese mm -hmm. food. Yes. Do you like curry and rice? Yes, of course. Today we're just going to do a really basic um, dish that is cooked often at home and it's one of the most popular yes. Yes, dishes very popular. in yes. Japan. Even though yeah. it's curry. And actually when I was in Czech Republic, I never heard about mm. the mm. curry rice. Mm. Curry rice. Yeah. The yeah. first time I tasted it in Japan. Yeah, mm. the same with me. I, I never had curry in the United States. The first time I ate it was in Nara Prefecture. Yeah. Mm. And I thought, wow, that has a very interesting <laughs> diet here. Yeah. Let's get cooking. Japanese style curry and rice. Here are the ingredients. Okay. So let's uh, introduce the ingredients first of all here. Um, starting on the uh, far side here, this is, let's see here, the pork. That's pork. pork. Strips of pork. Shoulder pork. Okay. And we've got some konyaku, konyaku. which has many different translations into English. Oh. Uh, a hundred years ago it was called devil's tongue. Devil's tongue. <laughs> devil's tongue. Yes. <laughs> um, because it's, so it's very chewy. And yes. there's nothing like this anywhere else in uh, outside of Asia. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yeah. sure, oh, sure. Very good. Very good. Very good. In Czech, never, never mm -hmm. seen. I have never yeah, seen. Yeah. Then we've got the deep fried tofu here. And for our vegetables, we've got, uh, let's see, we've got the, the chives. Mm -hmm. We've got, uh, this is daikon, I think. Daikon. That's daikon, the big white radish. Mm -hmm. A carrot. And some huge, huge mushrooms. Are these, uh, yes. is it ed eringi? Eringi. Eringi. That's the name of this mushroom. Then we have here taro potatoes. Mm. Uh, in Japanese, they're called sato imo. Mm. Sato, imo. sato imo. These are very popular, of course, again, in the uh, sort of the inland parts of mm. Japan. 
and we've got all of the various uh, flavorings and things here, but I just wanted to, everybody to take a good look at this. This is the uh, sort of condensed form of the curry sauce. Yeah. Um, but you know, the wonderful thing about curry mm. and rice is that you can mix and match almost anything. Oh, yeah. And it tastes yes. great. Yeah. You know, you don't it's have uh, to have cognac. You don't yes, have to have yes, sure. it's, 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 There is some food in Czech. They call it goulash. Mm. It's some kind of stew. Yeah. Mm. yeah. And you can also mix meat and vegetables, anything. Yeah. Any ingredients. Mm. Yeah. 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 Something yeah. very, yeah. very yeah. similar. Yeah. 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 I think that's really why curry and rice is so popular mm. in Japan is yeah. because um, you don't have to have these mm. Specific exactly. ingredients. Exactly. You can mix and match vegetables mm. and meat and other things um, to fit the tastes of your own individual family. Yeah. yeah. Right? Uh, yeah. So tell us what else, mm. what other things yeah. can be used? Yeah. Then you can use uh, instead of uh, potato yes. and the turnips and um, mushroom. Turnips or mushroom? Mushroom uh -huh. and uh, chicken and Beef, yeah, seafood, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. chicken, chicken curry, potato, potato, potato. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Um, let's get started. Yeah. Um, how do we? What the comes first? first? Mm. Boil the cognac. Boil the cognac. Okay. Oh, we already got some water boiling there, so that's good. Mm. And tell me, why do we boil the cognac? The to oil. remove cognac. the, uh, to I remove see. the bitterness. Bitterness. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. See. yeah. Raw cognac is not too appealing. You, you wanna you wanna boil it a little bit first. Good idea. Okay. Do we boil it, but not very long, just a short time. Yeah. Yeah. Short time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Forty. And then set it aside and let it dry. Yes. Okay. 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 It's not too hot. So join me. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we yeah, the cognac with our hand. Okay. Oh. That's okay. half and half. Okay. okay. Ah. Oh, yeah, his hand. I see. Mm. Oh, okay. I've never seen that. By doing this, oh. the cognac will absorb, absorb. Mm -hmm. the flavor better. The flavor better. better. Oh, really? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So it's good to squeeze. Yes. Yes. I have Before seen this technique see. before. Oh. Yes. And it's also a lot of fun to tear it apart with you. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> it's for children. They laugh. Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> hey, um, at home, you know, if, if, if you have kids, just say, hey, kids, tear it apart. <laughs> yeah. And they love destroying things. You know, so. uh, oh, funny. Very funny. Yeah. You, probably, yeah, you want to tear it into like bite sized pieces so mm. it's easy yeah. to uh, yeah. I chew in the mouth there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Next. Mm. Okay. The aburage. Next aburage. And the half. Yeah. Okay. And now you want to cut this one cut. with a knife. This is a little difficult to tear apart with your hands. Four. Four. Four, Four. pieces? Yes. One. Okay. Two. Uh, this is a very sharp knife, so do okay. be careful. Okay. 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 Oh, that was easy. And uh, carrot. Daikon and one centi thick slice. One, one centimeter? So, yes. Slice? Much. Yes. One centi. So, centi is one centimeter. Quarter. Uh -huh. uh -huh. so, okay. okay. And cut. One centimeter thick. Okay. 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 Now this is daikon. Of course, uh, many people like to eat this raw. Just like yes, that. me too. It's <laughs> kind of spicy. Yes. Uh, I, I enjoy that a lot. But, uh, they make turn it into pickles, like uh, what they call takuan. You know, the yellow. Yes. yes. The yellow pickle called takuan. Yeah. You like uh, takuan? Dry. Oh. Takuan. Oh yes, I yeah. can eat. Mm -hmm. I don't eat specially every day, but sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> now, takuan, of course, is like another one of the most one popular pick. pickles in Japan. Yeah. Okay. So, 
basically everything is cut to bite-sized pieces there. When I was a child, I never saw daikon in America, but have you ever seen them me in, too. in me the too. Czech Republic? Me too. First time in Japan. Really? Yes. But now I can I can get it in Prague. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, so yes. in special yes. special shops. It is imported, uh -huh. I think, but mm -hmm. you can get it. Well, it's, it's quite place cut, to... Cut in half, the uh -huh. ringi, uh -huh. and eight... Oh, uh -huh. no, no. Uh -huh. mm. Eight millimeter slices. Like this? Okay. Oh, is that all right? Yes. Oh, that's pretty big. Too big. That's mm -hmm. bigger than bite size. Mushroom is Oh, it has a lot of water in it, so mm -hmm. that's why you cut it so large. Mm -hmm. Is it going to shrink? Mm -hmm. yes. It'll shrink. Yes. Okay, yes. that's why she's cutting it so I large. See. I yes. get it. De taro. Taro. One. Mm. One cent, one or two. One cent. Mm. Okay. Do you cook a lot at home? Sometimes, <laughs> if I have time. Oh. Not so, not so much. Not so who, much. Who cooks your your Japanese food? My wife. Ah, my wife. Ja is your wife Japanese? May yes. I ask? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. Yes, if you're going to eat Japanese food every day, it does help to have a Japanese wife. That's true. <laughs> yes. That is true. Cannot do without Japanese wife. <laughs> why? Get she's a little embarrassed to ask yeah. English, but um, she's, <laughs> why, uh, well, why did you decide to marry a, a Japanese lady? Well, my wife studied in Prague, mm. so we met as, a, as a students. Mm. Ah, so we married. Yes. That's romantic, don't you think? It's very yeah. yeah. Okay. okay, so we continue now. Put a curry. Uh huh. Very small pieces. Yes, yeah. Uh huh. Ah, ah. So that it will uh, uh -huh. very easy melt to more, yes. more easily yeah, yes. uh -huh. in the hot water. Now, some people don't cut the curry before mm -hmm. they put it into the uh, hot water. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, they just let it melt naturally yeah. in the yeah. hot water. Mm -hmm. But she's cutting it. Hmm. I guess that would make it, uh, I mean, that would make the uh, curry much smoother, much more quickly. Mm -hmm. And you do have to be careful. And cut to the pulp okay. by the bite size of the pieces. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is it cut, all right? No. Cut to the wakegi. Oh. Okay. All righty. And again, yeah, okay. not too complicated there. But you know, this is really colorful, or it's going to become very colorful curry. So many vegetables. Yeah. Oh, it's really healthy. You have lots and lots of different things here. You got one, two, three, four, okay. five different kinds of vegetables, plus the curry, plus the meat, mm. plus the high protein um, tofu, the deep fried tofu, mm. and you've got the low calorie. Yeah. Lots of different textures mm. all in one meal. This really kind of, this is neat. Okay, I think we're ready to get into it now. Yeah. So, Harumi, please show yeah. us the next yes. step here. In a deep pan. Deep pan, yes. And Turn on the heat. What we put in? Okay. First. First. A little oil. Oil. Okay. Yes. And crushed. Crushed garlic. Ah, oh, garlic. Ah, crushed. Yes. I see. Garlic. Uh, may I ask a question? What what kind of oil you you uh, use? Ah, vegetable uh, oil. Vegetable. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank. The so when the aroma uh -huh. comes out. Yes. The, and add the pork. Hmm. Fried pork. The fried pork. Okay. Ah. Okay. So that'll be the next okay. step. Okay. Ah, yeah, I can smell it. is going to have a, an aroma of garlic mm -hmm. in and amongst all the rest of this. This is going to be wonderful. Uh, uh, nearly in any food, garlic mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. tastes good. Oh, it just, it just, it just adds a little bit extra yeah. to it. Yeah. Uh, so they have a lot of 
uh, Indian and Pakistani restaurants yes, in yes, Tokyo. Yes. You know, so you can people really do enjoy the uh, the different the different you know kinds of curry around Japan. Yes. But this Japanese style is still the most popular by yes. far. I'll sprinkle a little salt and pepper. Off. Okay. Okay. And the uh, cognac. Oh, next is the cognac. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And the daikon and the ninjin. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now you, you notice she's picking up the pace here. She's moving faster and faster as we go along. <laughs> <laughs> Once you get to this point, you got to start moving. Yeah. And actually, this is one of my favorite things about curry and rice is that uh, once you get started, it's very quick. Yeah, yeah. It's very quick. Which I'm, start, I'm already very hungry, you know. <laughs> so I'm uh, really looking forward to this. Okay, now. Okay, so <coughs> now we have uh, uh, vegetable, cognaco, mm. yeah. meat, mm. and pork, right. and garlic. So, and the rest is here. So we put later. When they are talking time. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah, it's very yeah. difficult to make the timing. Yeah. 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 Y
Oh, it now smells mm. great. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. And oh, I tell you, the smell of curry gives you an appetite. <laughs> finally, you must be hungry. Oh, I'm starving. At the meeting. Meeting. Okay, meeting. Kind of a sweet, meeting. sort of a sweet see. cooking sake. It's soy yeah. sauce. Okay, what kind of soy sauce uh -huh. is that? It's is that shoyu? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh, just regular soy sauce. Regular soy sauce. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ah, and that makes it. That sort of gives it a distinct Japanese flavor. Mirin and soy sauce. Yeah. Something you yes. won't find in India, yeah. that's for sure. Yeah. Maybe in Czech Republic you cannot find mirin. Mirin. Mm -hmm. well, the last thing mm -hmm. is. Ah. Put in the chives. Now, these don't take very long to cook at all. Oh, look at that. That's such a colorful, healthy looking dish. Get done of the heat. Okay. All done? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's done. It's done. Our Japanese style curry and rice is done. Pour the curry over the rice and enjoy it with any pickles you like. It actually adds an extra dimension to the texture there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ah. You notice that she's making sure that she has a little bit of each vegetable in each serving. Okay, so. Uh, let's see. Rakyo. Bakma, do you like the mm. rakyo? Um, this one, I think, Harumi, you just put some on yours. Uh, uh, yeah. This is fukujin zuke, okay. which is uh, many different kinds of vegetables. You yes. can chop it up real fine mm. and then pickle it simply. Uh, it's like in soy sauce, mm. Al although it's a much more elaborate process than that. But this is very, very popular. A lot of people put it on their uh, curry rice there. And this is one of my favorite dishes. This is okay. shibazuke. Mm. This is, these are uh, cucumbers that have been pickled with a little bit of very shiso crunch. leaf. And it's very, very crunchy. They try to maintain the crunchiness. And, oh, this is one of my favorites. So <laughs> I'm going to put this one on my curry, okay? So we all have yeah. different pickles on our curry, mm. which so is okay. A little bit. You can pick and choose. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. Mm. okay. Oh, you want to try? Oh, yeah. Okay. You yeah, spilled yeah. a little there. I like to try anything. Quite ginger. It's all right. Okay. Oh, ginger. I love. Yeah. So, anyway, uh, let's eat it and see what you think. Mm. Okay. Itadakimasu. Oh, go ahead. Have a bite. Mmm. Mmm. Very nice. Yes. It's first time with mm. konyaku. Konyaku. Yeah, it tastes great. Oh, boy. That there's so many different textures in here. Mm. Yes. You know, the the, uh, the deep-fried tofu has one yeah. sort of texture. The, mm. the potatoes and the daikon are completely different. And then you've got the uh, mm. different pickles on top, mm. which give it kind of a crunchy, snappy flavor on top of it. And yeah, very oh. special taste. Yeah, mm. it tastes great. But I think they will enjoy. Mm. But not so many chance to eat. Mm. It always amazed me. You know, Japanese style of curry, and of course Indian curry too, mm. they're all so good, but mm, you don't eat this in many other countries, mm. like Europe and America. No. Curry is just not very popular. I don't know why. Mm. It's so good. Mm. No? Mm. It's all good. <laughs> Indian curry is very, very nice, So, but mm -hmm. it takes too long I see. to prepare. Maybe, yes. yeah. So this curry is very easy. Very yeah. easy, so very fast. 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. And great taste and very healthy, mm. I think. Yes. Very healthy, yeah. because the balance of mm. Food and ingredients and uh, vegetables. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Compared, okay, if you're you're eating harumi's mm. curry right now, and your wife also makes this, yeah. Also, yeah. which is better? <laughs> well, my wife maybe is watching. She's watching the <laughs> So you better choose your words carefully. Here. Yes. Yeah, she cooks very well. Any any kind of food, even Czech food, she can. Really? Yes, you look. And uh, really, her uh, curry is very good, great. Mm. But it's a little bit different, mm. you know. Different. Because different. I, uh, it's first time. Mm. Aburage, Aburage konyaku, konyaku yeah. satoimo, yes, yes, very unusual. So it, it different. It, but this is uh, maybe faster mm. made than she cooks, yeah. maybe. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It tastes great. Yeah, yeah. yeah I thank like you. it very much. Yeah, thank you yeah. so much. So, Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very much.
Thank you again for a wonderful program. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. New day. Yeah. And I'm sure that the I people out there are yeah. all going to try this right yeah. away. And I learned a lot. Thank, thank, thank you so much. I did too. Oh, and at the end of our program, we always say goodbye in the language of our guest. So, okay. how do you, in Czech, how do you say in goodbye? In Czech, uh, uh, navigeno. Navigate. It, it's like, see you again. So, navigeno. Navigeno. Okay. 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 So, anyway, thank you again. How do you say thank, thank you so much. Thank you very much. much. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Buckler. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure having you on the program today. Thank and you. Thanks to all you people out there watching our program. I hope you learned a lot. I hope you'll try this curry. It's really good. See you again next time. And we'll say... Navigeno. Navigeno. <laughs> I almost forgot. <laughs> Let's review how to make Japanese-style curry and rice. First, prepare the ingredients. Boil the konyaku to remove its bitterness. Let it cool and tear it by hand into bite-sized pieces. Cut the aburaage into eight pieces. Cut the daikon and the carrot into one centimeter thick quarter rounds. Cut the iringi in half and slice it into eight millimeter thick pieces. Cut the taros into two to three centimeter pieces and finally chop the curry root. Cut the pork slices into two to four pieces. Cut the wakegi into six centimeter long pieces. Heat some oil in a deep frying pan. Lightly fry the crushed garlic. When the aroma of the garlic is released, put in the pork. When it's done, season with salt and pepper. Add and cook the konyaku, daikon, and carrot. Pour in the heated dashi stock and simmer on high heat for about five minutes. Skim off the scum if necessary. Check the hardness of the vegetables with a toothpick. Simmer until just before they become tender. Add the eringi, aburaage, and taros, and simmer with a lid on for about seven minutes until the taros become tender. Add the chopped curry roux, and when it has dissolved, add the mirin and soy sauce, and mix. Finally, add the wakegi, cook a little more, and then turn off the heat. Ladle the curry onto the rice, and your Japanese-style curry and rice is ready to serve. For full access to today's recipe, simply visit our website. Please join us next week for Rice with Sanma and Eight Drop Soup.